With the flurry of events happening in Kenya's banking sector in the past few months, the call to merge banks is now gaining momentum, even as the sector continues to grow from a confidence crisis. On Transformers this week, KTN's Abby Agena speaks to KCB Group CEO Joshua Oigara to pick his mind on what it would take to consolidate the banking industry. Kenya's banking sector is among the most robust in Eastern Africa. It has recently experienced deepening levels of financial inclusion, a clear indication of a growing market yearning for financial services. Today, the number of licensed commercial banks stand at 43, with the regulator having put on hold licensing of any new banks into the market. Now it's more, well, wait a second. With more banks in the market, this has set a vital ground for new entrants who can have a size of Kenya's unbanked market. You ask me about my vision in the next, by 2018 or 2020, we'd like to see a bolder way of consolidation of the sector. The thinking behind having many banks was to open the industry for competition as players would fight it out by having competitively priced products. This has, however, not been the case. Just look at the list of the most expensive banks in the industry. And look at the, mo the most competitive banks. Just look at the numbers. The numbers are very clear. So when you talk about being nation competitive, that is not based on fact. That's more of a feeling. Now you are entitled very much to your opinions, but I like that we deal with the facts. The fact is consolidation, building efficiency, delivers better capital to deploy for projects and ultimately reduces cost of credit. The first calls to consolidate the banking sector are premised on having stronger institutions that can withstand market pressures that may emerge. So far, at least three banks have been placed under receivership as a result of failing to comply to set up prudential guidelines. This in itself went to show the vulnerability of the banking sector with billions of depositors' monies being locked up as investigations continue. Smaller banks will be the biggest casualties in the event banks consolidate through either mergers or acquisitions. What we're looking for is natural consolidation that is all part of the change, the transition, uh, and institutions need to consolidate naturally so as to be more resilient. What we're not going to do is to force marriages. We're not going to do that. You know what happens when you get into a forced marriage. Under the new plan, uh, Treasury is looking to raise core capital for banks from the current 1 billion shillings to 5 billion shillings, a condition that could expose mid-tier banks and either force them to close shop or be bought out. Just look at the top five banks in Africa. They're the largest banks in the continent. Look at the banks in West Africa, the largest banks in the continent. In fact, you look at the top 10 banks, there is no bank from this part of the world. We come in almost top 40. We can continue speaking and talking and thinking about this issue, or we can take action. My belief, the future belongs to doers. Abiyagira, Kitchen Business.